Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an art journal page. On this art journal page I'm going to be um, creating an emu head basically. Um, I have decided to use my ring bound handmade journal for this. I basically make these pages up as I need them. I cut a piece of watercolour paper 8 and 3 quarter inches by 8 and a quarter inches and then round the corners and punch the holes where the rings will hold the pages together. So this is the journal and um, you can see um, each page I only use the front of it. I write on the back the instructions or the products that I've used on the page so that I can remember if I ever want to do that technique again. I cannot draw so I went on the internet and I found this image in a website called Vector Stock so I printed that out and I'm going to use that for my image on my page. I want a back, black background, hmm, say that fast twice, and so I'm using my black gesso to give the whole page a complete coat. So I've let that dry and now I'm going to, and I've cut out the emu head, now I'm going to use some um, gel medium to attach the emu head to the page. I cover the whole page with the gloss gel because I'm not quite sure at this stage what I'm going to do with the background and the gel will seal off everything underneath it. I decided that I wanted to have the background um, black and gold so I've, I'm using this stamp and um, my Encore gold stamp pad and a stamping block and I'm going to use a couple of these clear stamps to um, just stamp randomly in the background without going over the emu head. If I do happen to go over the emu head because it's got that coat of the gel on it, I'll be able to wipe the ink off. Now that I've got um, my gold stamping in the background, I'm going to use this uh, Duncan acrylic paint, it's called Solid Gold, and I've watered that down and I'm going to use my fan brush and just splatter a, bat, um, a bit of gold into the background as well. This uh, will go over the emu, but once again, I just wipe it off with a baby wipe. I go through the same process, watering down some white acrylic paint and uh, then using that to make some more splatters in the background. These do actually fade off a little when they dry. If I wanted it to stay whiter, I probably could have used gesso. Time now to start actually painting my emu and I have to admit I didn't really have much of an idea how I was going to do this. I started out by using some sunshine yellow acrylic paint, watering that down and giving my emu a wash, a complete coverage of um, with this watered down yellow. I did this so that if I was to miss any of the um, areas when I came to my top coats it wouldn't be white it would be yellow. I didn't apply the yellow to the beak or the eyes because I wanted to leave these so that they could be a nice clear colour. So to colour the beak I watered down some acrylic paint called Elephant Grey so it's a very pale grey. I watered that down and gave the beak a wash of that colour. I didn't go over the detail of the beak with the grey, I let that stay black. 
I use the same colour to do around the skin area of the eyes. Now I'm going to start colouring the emu itself. I'm going to use some acrylic paint once again. Uh, the orange is called Sunrise Orange. The red is called Red Carnation. And the yellow is the same yellow that I used for the background. So that's Sunshine Yellow. I don't really know or I hadn't really thought about how I was going to do this so I just started um, putting flicks of well flick strokes I suppose I'd load my brush with the acrylic paint and then just start down by the beak area and flick the brush out um, it was just a case of trial and error really as I went um, I didn't really know how I was going to achieve this but um, yeah I just kept going until I was happy with the um, effect I alternate between the orange and the red and uh, yeah, see how I go I decided to water down some of the yellow and put a yellow wash over the beak so that it blended in nicely with the colours on the bird. I mixed some of the red and some of the orange together to make the colour for the eyes. I filled in the whole pupil of the emu and let that dry before I did anything else to the eyes. Then when it was dry I used some black acrylic paint and painted the pupils in. I used the same paint to detail the beak and the eyes and eyelashes. I thought the um, feathers needed a bit of uh, darkness added to them so I have uh, used the black to add a sort of a shadow, a bit of darkness here and there around in the shaded areas like under the beak. I also did a bit of shading around the eyes. I used my white acrylic paint to add um, a highlight to each of the eyes. I got out my Zig Opaque Writer in black, pure black, and it's got a nice fine point on it and I wanted to do a bit more of the detailing in black. Um, and this was nice and fine so it, it looks quite nice and it's easy to do because it's a pen and it goes exactly where you want it to. While I've got my black pen in my hand I go on and do a bit of detailing here and there on the bird, tidy up its eyes and um, bits and pieces like that.
next I get my fine line marker that I keep my watered down white acrylic paint in and I do a double layer or border around my page just a squiggly line which I double up and so that the page gets a, a beginning and an end and uh, the actual white lifts the page quite a bit. I then use my white gel pen to add some white detailing to the emu. I add some few extra feathers and um, put some white on the eyelashes of the emu just here and there to lift it, give it that um, whiteness that it needed and it definitely lifts it, makes it look a lot fresher. Those of you that are not Australian and don't know, our emu is a flightless bird and for that reason I have chosen the title flightless and the fact that we're basically in lockdown because of COVID-19 and uh, there aren't many flights left to take. So um, I have cut it on my scan and cut. I cut it in gold and I cut it in white because I didn't know which one I would like to use. So I play around with them both before deciding that I'm going to go with the white. So I use my T ruler and my Aileen's original tacky glue to attach the title to the page. I may as well not use the T ruler because it didn't end up being straight anyway. To help the title blend into the background a little, I'm using my micro pen, black, to just put a scribbly outline around the letters of the title and that helps to make them not so white and helps them to blend into the background of the page. Once I've finished that, that finalises my page. I hope you've enjoyed watching this process and um, give it a go yourself because it, it was a bit daunting for me to start with but once I got going it uh, all seemed to fall into place and it's certainly not hard. So if you have enjoyed my video please subscribe and share my video with your friends. Thank you.